Heart Chart Accommodative Therapy by Sarah Winkler and Brandon Lerner. This video provides information that may or may not apply to you and your specific vision and health care needs. Always consult your doctor, therapist, and teacher before considering what you and your family should do in any particular situation. If you have any questions, please contact Dr. Dominic Mano at dmano at ico.edu. Optometric vision therapy is a sequence of neurosensory and neuromuscular activities individually prescribed and monitored by the optometrist to develop, rehabilitate, and enhance visual skills and processing. The vision therapy program that is prescribed is based on the results of a comprehensive eye examination or consultation and takes into consideration the results of standardized tests, the needs of the patient, and the patient's signs and symptoms. The use of lenses, prisms, filters, occluders, specialized instruments, and computer programs are an integral part of optometric vision therapy. The length of the therapy program varies depending on the severity of the diagnosed conditions, typically ranging from several months to longer periods of time. Therapy procedures that often parallel in-office techniques are often taught to the patient to be used at home, thereby reinforcing the developing visual skills. Research has demonstrated vision therapy can be an effective treatment option for ocular motility dysfunctions, like eye movement disorders, non strabismic binocular disorders, or inefficient eye teaming, strabismus, which is misalignment of the eyes, amblyopia, or poorly developed vision, accommodative or focusing disorders, and visual information processing disorders, including visual motor integration and integration with other sensory modalities. This form of optometric vision therapy is for those who have a hard time focusing on letters, words, and objects while reading and writing. This vision therapy technique requires a large and small heart chart, measuring tape or meter stick, eye patch, and tape. This type of optometric vision therapy is best performed at least once a day for 15 to 20 minutes when you are well rested. To be most successful, the vision therapy should be performed in a bright, quiet room with minimal distractions. Accommodative or focusing vision therapy is used to restore normal focusing range and efficiency. Two individual methods of performing the heart chart accommodative rock vision therapy techniques involves one, distance near rock to tromboning. Let's begin with distance near rock. For this technique, you will need two heart charts, an eye patch, tape, and a meter stick or tape measure. The larger heart chart is placed on the wall at eye level, eight feet from where you are standing with a handheld chart. When first practicing this therapy technique, start with the larger letters on each chart. To determine Harmon's distance, Hold your knuckle next to your cheek and extend your elbow forward. This is where you should hold the near chart or the chart in your hand. Please wear your correction, whether it's contact lenses or glasses, with the eye patch over your right eye. To begin this therapy technique, look at the distance heart chart on the wall and try to make the top line of letters clear as fast as you can. When looking at the distance chart, you can either look above the handheld chart or through the small square on the handheld chart, whichever is easier for you. Once the top line of letters on the distance chart is clear, read it out loud. Then look at the first line of letters on the handheld heart chart. Clear the letters as quick as you can, and then read them out loud. Continue this technique by looking at the second line of letters on the distance chart and clearing the letters quickly before reading them out loud. Repeat with the second line on the handheld chart. To continue going back and forth between the distance heart chart and the handheld heart chart, clearing the letters in one to two seconds. Repeat this technique a second time before moving the eye patch to the left eye. One, begin with a patch over the right eye. Two, go back and forth between the distance chart and the near chart. Three, read the letters in each line as soon as they become clear. It should take one to two seconds to make the letters clear. 4. Continue until you have read all the letters on each card. 5. Repeat a second time with the patch over the right eye. 6. Perform the same way two times with the patch over the left eye. 
To make this technique more challenging, you can move the handheld heart chart one to two inches closer to your face. Please wear your correction, whether it's contact lenses or glasses, with the eye patch over your right eye. Once the top line of letters on the distance chart is clear, read it out loud. Then look at the first line of letters on the handheld heart chart. Clear the letters as quick as you can, and then read them out loud. Read the second line of distance letters as quickly as they clear. Before going back to the handheld chart, bring it one to two inches closer than it was before. Repeat with the second line on the handheld chart. Remember, the chart is closer to you. It may take longer to clear the letters. One, start with a handheld card one to two inches closer. Two, alternate between distance and near card. Three, move the handheld card another one to two inches closer each time you switch from the distance card to the near card. Continue until the handheld card is four to six inches away from you. Allow yourself extra time to clear the letters on the handheld card. Read the entire card twice with the right eye and twice with the left eye. Tromboning is the second way to perform heart chart accommodative rock vision therapy. For this technique, you will need two heart charts, an eye patch, tape, and a meter stick or tape measure. Please wear your correction, whether it's contact lenses or glasses, with the eye patch over your right eye. To determine Harmon's distance, hold your knuckle next to your cheek and extend your elbow forward. This is where you should hold the near chart or the chart in your hand. Then slowly bring the handheld chart closer to your eyes until the letters become blurry. Hold the card still and try to clear the letters. Blinking is often helpful. If you are unable to clear the letters at that distance, return the handheld chart to Harmon's distance and clear the first line of letters on the distance heart chart. Again, slowly bring the handheld chart closer to your eyes until the letters become blurry. If at any time you are unable to clear the letters after a few seconds of effort and blinking, return the handheld chart to Harmon's distance, relax your eyes, and read a line of letters on the distance chart before repeating the task. However, if you are able to clear the letters on the handheld chart, continue to bring it closer to your eyes until A, the letters become blurry, or B, you have reached four to six inches from your eyes and the letters are still clear. One, start with the patch over your right eye. Two, use the large letters on the chart in your hands. Three, hold the small chart in your hands at Harmon's distance. Four, read the letters while bringing the small chart towards your face. Five, stop when the letters are too blurry to read. Six, if unable to clear the letters on the small card in your hands, clear letters on the wall chart as fast as you can and repeat from the beginning. Seven, four to six inches from your eye is a good end point. Eight, repeat with a patch over the left eye. If at any time you are unable to clear the letters in your hand, look at the distance letters and clear those. Repeat starting with the card in your hand at Harmon's distance. To make this method more challenging, Use the small letters on the handheld chart. Repeat the technique the same way you did before, six times for each eye with 30 seconds of rest each try. At this time, you have all the information you need to work on and improve your accommodative range and speed. Remember, efficient accommodative skills are important for performing near tasks like reading and writing. I hope you found this video helpful. Good luck.